Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing a new figure that I've received. I didn't realize this was actually part of the Shibuya's Rainbow figure, but anyways, um, if those who know how to read Japanese, it's another card capture Sakura clear card figure that I've been waiting for a while to get. So this is really exciting. This is like the battle costume water version. Um, I think this is going to be my first um, Shibuya Scramble figure, um, although I have seen loads of them before. I do not know if the picture reflects the, you know, um, actual figure, but I've seen them and they are pretty, pretty pretty, is what I want to say. Um, this was ordered from Ami Ami. it would be just easy to order it from a place where I can get different shippings all together at the same time and not have to pay for anything but um, this arrived because other figures were not ready yet basically so yeah let's get into it so it's a huge box as per usual let me just that came into another huge box So first of all, this is cute. They've got like this little band to help you remove the um, figure out of the other huge box that it's from. Um, and well covered, as you can see. Well packaged, as per always. Um, but yeah, it's like a 1 7th pre-painted scale figure. taken this all out before I opened it but I didn't realize there was so much plastic and stuff. Okay, so that's the figure that we are getting in the actual box um, with the water card and this really cute costume and lots of um, special looking effects on it as well. So let's just get rid of all the extra tape that's on there, as per usual. This is a cool kind of um, little kind of um, shadow. not pull this out. I should have done this um, in another table, but oh well. Sort of specific instructions, I believe. Uh, assembly instruction. Oh, okay. So they gave me a QR code that I need to um, use to be able to see um, product handling and assembly instructions. But um, yeah, let's figure it out first. They've got four different language. So. Yeah, let's have a look first and see if we can deal with it without having to use the the ones come out already. So there are different layers to this plastic box as per usual. She's coming out. Wow. She is actually huge. Well I mean 
like I didn't realize her face was that huge. Okay, right. Let me just move her out because she is falling Came out of her box by herself. The stand is amazing. Also, it's the wings that are the parts that you kind of have to as assemble for this figure. Okay. Alright, let me just show you the base first. So this looks like a piano thingy at the same time as some, I guess, water rings, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, this is light, but still a huge, you know, stand. Let me get rid of this one. She's also got that clear card or gale um, card. Right. And then this is the second Translucent and right, let's get into it. I mean, there's not that much that we need to do to be honest, it should be pretty straightforward. Let me just show you Sak Sakura first. Um, so her hat kind of came off, which is fine. Um, but yeah, this is her facial expressions, which look pretty good can't complain her face is actually bigger than i thought it would be um and then you've got her dress with all the little yellow balls a ribbon at the back then there's the shoes which has a slightly glossy feel to it and then It's kind of, okay, so the hat's kind of got this magnet on it, so it just kind of stays on her head, basically, without having me to do anything. And it's probably gonna be like that. Right, and then I'm guessing We should put her first on the stand. So she's got two little things here, which are definitely probably gonna be on here. Is some sort of resistance it's not going easy on it um okay let me just pause this video and then i will have a quick read of the instructions first and i'll go back to filming the assembling part okay hi welcome back to the <laughs> video so um i had a quick look basically depending on a certain angle it should just the base of the foot where you had kind of this long rod should automatically kind of slide in once you've got it into that specific angle. Um, so that's how it should fit. It should fit nice and cuddly to the stand. Um, again, I'm super impressed with the fact that she's just holding onto the stand on one leg and this is kind of staying steady. <laughs> the other bits um, which I've had a look at were the wings kind of parts so there is at the top of here i don't know if you can see um this here um which is 
kind of part of one of the wings. And the other side, who was it? I think this the, here at the bottom also should be a part of where the wings are going into. Um, so yeah, this is what we're gonna do next. Uh, to figure out which wing is the side that's the right way. Um, so yeah, I think this feels like it should be on this bit there, like a continuation of the wing on this side. Again, it should be very kind of smooth kind of way. You shouldn't have to struggle too hard. Mm, yeah, I don't think it's like that. Just have a look at the box again. Doesn't feel like it will fit in here. Okay, all right. Let me just have a look at this. Maybe try this side. Definitely not this kind of way. I feel like it's definitely more on this one rather than on the top bit there. Okay, right. So maybe. Let's just try and see if we can do this part. And then the two wings should be connecting towards the end of the figure. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, let's pause this again and I'll come back and have a look at the video again. Thanks. All right, this took me forever, but uh, I've got the first wing on, which took a bit of time because this part that slides into the wing doesn't really fit as snugly as I would like to. And then there is another part that is holding um, the side of the wing on one of those crystals through here um this also had to kind of be held with my two hands to barely keep it in basically so yeah that was not an easy job to do um but it's done for now and i think basically the pressure of this is kind of holding the wing on this side as well um, so yeah, that's what it should look like on this side of the wing. And then for the other bit of the wing that we've got on here, if you can see on here, that's the part where this should fit in normally. Um, and on the end, other end of the wing, you see this piece of plastic that will fit into this to again just keep everything in place, I believe. So let me try and do this again through the camera. It might not be as smooth as I would like it to be. Yeah, I might just pause and show you the end result. Okay, so update. Um, yeah, it took me ages to sort the wings together. By the time I got the other side of the wing um, stuck to this part, the other, this bit came off. So I had to kind of sort it out first, try and put it back on. As you can see, the you can still see a bit of the bits that are not fully like it's not smooth i don't know why 
if it's just my one or if it's just these um, Shibuya scramble ones tend to be like this anyways um, but yeah then I managed to have to put this one back and then the two wings get connected through there's a little piece that you can just assemble and connect between those two and I think hopefully um, with all these joints being connected all together um, you won't need to like it shouldn't pop up by itself and come out basically is what I'm hoping for right um, and then so this is fine so this is so let's just put the head back on because that was that and then we've got the wand here which I'm guessing is going here I believe it's it comes you can uh, detach it here, so you can just put, hopefully, spit through the back of her hand. Uh, and go through her hand. Maybe. Ugh. You tend to need a lot of strength for this. <laughs> and then scared of breaking plastic at the same time. Um, so that's this part here. And then she keeps the card. The Gale card. She got a slight indent here. I don't know if you can see in between her fingers that fits somehow as snuggly through here so yeah so this is the fear for the card cactus sakura um costume battle costume water version which overall looks great as you can see from the stand, the pose, and all of that. It really looks like she is battling something. But um, apart from that, if you look from it from afar, it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, it took me a while to put the things on the joints because they do not fit in smoothly. This is what I've got to say. Um, but otherwise I don't really have much complaint it's probably all my fingerprints all over the place from <laughs> me putting a lot of effort trying to put these wings together um, but yeah I hope you like this video make sure you check out my other card capture Sakura unboxing merch as well as figures and yeah we'll see you guys next time for another video